Hey VC, it's Greeno. Wanted to do another quick video uh, response to uh, Laz, uh, his uh, inner sleeve contest for his thousand subscribers. Man, that's crazy. It's great. Congratulations, man. It's, uh, it's a lot of subscribers. So, uh, just want to jump in real quick. I just picked two, and kind of like uh, everybody else, I guess, in a VC, you can go hog wild with this and you can pick all kind of stuff. But I try to just keep it uh, down to a couple, and uh, one is my pretty much my favorite ever. So, but uh, getting it started. What's playing in the background is uh, Tesla. Great radio controversy. Uh, if you can even hear, love this album. It's all these guys uh, on this tour. It's like '89. Yeah. Uh, opening up for Def Leppard. And they were great. They were probably better than Def Leppard. They're an uh, underrated band. Alright, uh, two albums I picked. Uh, the first one is uh, Lizzie Borden, Visual Lives. Love this album. Big fan of Lizzie Borden. And when it comes to uh, Inner Sleeves, the ones that really catch me, I mean, I love Inner Sleeves, like for everybody else. But uh, I really like the ones that have like great pictures, you know like one big picture and this is definitely for me a great picture I think it's cool and the uh, lyrics on the back but just a killer sleeve and this one also my copy has the uh, order form yeah. order some metal blade shirts back in the day alright and my all time favorite uh, inner sleeve and one of my favorite just packages overall and actually I have uh, this sleeve uh, framed and up on the wall but uh, the album it's for is uh, Cheap Trick Dream Police just the whole packaging for this album just the way it's put together is great like that's just a killer cover and I remember being young when this came out and I'm like what the hell is a Dream Police what, I don't understand but Evidently, that's a dream place. And then a great picture on the back. Got Rick Nielsen with a, one of his cool uh, Hamer guitars. And one of the great gatefolds. Where you got the band in their dream police costumes. And then the band in the lineup with them. And then the band pointing them out. So you got the band here three different times. It's just a great inner uh, gatefold. But this is about the sleeve, the inner sleeve. And uh, I just love this picture. It's just white on white and just so, I don't know. This just caught me off guard as a kid. Like I said, I was like, what the hell is a dream police? I don't understand what it is. But uh, I ended up really liking this album yeah, as a kid. And like I said, I just love the packaging for this, the whole deal. And like I said, I got this framed in uh, like a record uh, frame up on the wall. Just love it. And actually, uh, you know, like it, like the album so much, I got a Japanese pressing of it with the OBI. And it basically, the Japanese pressing has the same thing except for the sleeve in the, uh, like the U.S. pressing. The record doesn't go into this. It goes into a, a uh, just a, you know, one of these plastic clear bags. And then this is just like a fold out thing with the Japanese uh, lyrics, or the lyrics written in Japanese on the inside and all. But same deal, but, you know, like I said, I just, I love this album cover and everything about it. So that's two I picked and like I said I could go on forever just pick a ton of these but I thought I'd grab those two. I really really like those two and uh, I'd say Dream Police is probably the one for me. So uh, congratulations uh, Laz, a thousand and I'm sure you're older that by now. You know, way on, probably working on 1100 by now. So uh, love watching your videos and I'll keep watching. Alright man, thanks.